Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go talk about something that's actually been happening throughout this past week that's been making its ways around, especially when it comes to PlayStation 5 and scalpers that have actually had a chance to go and, well, ruin one of these systems out there. And we're going to be talking about this more in regards to the PlayStation Direct because we did actually have a lot of them throughout these past few weeks. But sadly, it does kind of seem like there was a big exploit, and it's kind of a big reason why some of the things were changed. Although they may have actually been changed for the slightly better, it does kind of seem to go and show that there's been a lot of issues behind the scenes that we've been all been finding out about throughout the past week or so. So I want to talk about this, talk about what's going on, talk about the impact on this stuff, and as well, in all honesty, I'm a little bit disappointed that Sony even allowed this in the first place. So just a lot of things to go talk about. So if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well link down below. Sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase and the Twitter giveaway down below and let's go diving into the video itself. So as you guys have probably heard or seen, we had a really, really good PlayStation Direct yesterday. There was a lot of people getting consoles. There was a lot of people getting stock. It was a public, open to everyone, Q system. It was basically up for around like two hours. There was just people getting stock nonstop, and just everything went fantastic. Like I generally thought it was a good experience. I generally thought a lot of people had a good, well, vibe. And generally, at the end of the day, a lot of people got their consoles. But well, we all kind of thought that was a good news, and I still think it is. Like, I do think the changes they did do, I believe, to, at least to my knowledge, I do believe they've done a lot of anti-scalping, uh, a lot of anti-botting changes, which we kind of covered slightly in the previous video, but it's just really nice to go and see that they've actually done more internal changes. Although, that's why it's kind of a catch-22, because they, while they did have a chance to make stuff and change stuff and do stuff a little bit better, on the reverse side, it's because of all these bad issues that basically made them have to go and change it. So what happened? As you guys know, PlayStation Directs were basically doing individual email invites. You had to sign up from the PlayStation Direct itself, and then if you had a good RNG, like good randomness, you had a chance to get an email invite. With that email invite, you were able to go click on the link, and then you just go and show up. You kind of sit in the same queue that you basically did either when it was open or pri private, either or. And as you did that, you ideally had a pretty high chance getting your console. A lot of people who got those individual emails had like a 70 to 80% chance, give or take. Like a lot of folks were getting the consoles, a lot of folks were getting the hookup, a lot of people were just doing good with it. And then, well, it kind of went downhill. So what started happening is there was an exploit. Now, what I mean by that is that when people were getting those emails, as I just mentioned, you were able to essentially have a huge chance. If you were on time, had your banking information all saved and everything, you were pretty much good. But the issue is that people found an exploit to actually go and get individual email invites themselves. So you know how we had maybe a one per account? There is now apparently scalpers and botters who are out there able to get like 30, 40, 50, 100 different PS Direct emails. And like I said, the ratio of getting them is like very, very low for like the general folks, but it's a very, very high chance of obtaining your console, mainly because if there's only 10,000 consoles, 15,000 invites, the ratio is still there. And that actually kind of, I think, what led to the PlayStation Direct now switching to their brand new format. As you guys have seen, I was kind of excited about it, and I still think it's actually kind of good. Like, I think I personally still prefer an open format. I think I personally pre like prefer just anyone whose luck of the draw has a chance to get in. You can leave your comments and thoughts down below if you guys prefer an individual email or just open to everyone. I kind of like the idea of open to everyone, in all honesty. I kind of like it. But for me, people were basically reselling those things. So the going prices were around 10 to $20 per email. So at some point, some people, if they got 100 emails and they were selling for $20 each, and obviously some people would pay that because that's basically the same thing as a Walmart Plus. Like if you guys saw Walmart Plus, people were selling that all over the place. Like people were down to pay the $13, $14 with really no big deal. Like nothing at all. Like I'm cool with it. But the issue is that it's the same thing for the PS Directs. Walmart's cool. It's a proper retailer. You have a pretty, it has extra perks beside it. But when it comes to PS Directs, that's just a random scalper or botter, or if you just really want to say hacker, for lack of a better term, having a chance to go and sell and make money off it. Like if you, like I said, if you had a hundred of them selling for twenty bucks each, you could just make two grand in a one day restock. Let alone if they did like two of them in a week or three of them in a week, the demand is there. Like people are still paying premiums, people are still paying extra money, people are still trying their best to go and get stuff for when it comes to the consoles. Like they're willing to go pay extra money to get them. 
and that's where the issues kind of lie. Because I'm sure you guys can see how that can go into uh, badness and go into other things. It just, it's not good. It's really not good. So, what happened with it is people start, started to figure out the uh, kind of glitch, I guess, for lack of better terms. We had a lot of both Discord groups, Telegram, group, Telegram groups, and other groups out there, even on Twitter. Like, I literally saw people advertising on Twitter, being like, hey, anyone wants a console? I'll sell you an invite for, you know, 20 bucks. <sighs> So it's like, it's a no, dude, this is like, it's, there's always some, there's always like some sort of weaseling on in. That's why I'm kind of a little bit on the anti-scalper botting side, because there's always like a big change they have to do. When it comes to Walmart, they have to completely change their systems. When it comes to PS Direct, they have to completely change their systems. When it comes to West Buy, you have to put it in stores, you have to use a glitch just to get your consoles. And at the end of the day, if we just didn't have all these folks out here doing this, this would probably just be available up in stores, or at this point, if we didn't have to do like bots and so many scalpers you could probably just go on amazon right this second and probably just go and check out and buy your console so it stinks because this has been on record confirmed like we've seen people tweeting about it we've seen people getting well we actually even saw people excited because they bought the invite like they bought like the extra extra invite and then they literally went and they were like oh my god i finally got it oh my god i recommend this guy oh my god whatever and first and foremost this opens up to a lot of big issues this could lead into potentially people getting scammed if you have a random guy being like, yeah, I totally got 500 emails, bro. Cash at me 20 bucks. You know, send me 20 bucks on Venmo, you know, fucking, you know, whatever. PayPal me 25 bucks. Well, guess what? You could be completely scammed because people have been scamming on Twitter, scamming on YouTube comments, the entire restock grind. And it's actually kind of a big warning out there is if it always does sound too good to be true, please be careful. It's just the general life, especially when it comes to consoles, especially when it comes to people you don't know, especially when it comes to random people online that you don't know. Just all that stuff together, not fun to see. So... I think that's kind of a big reason why PlayStation and PlayStation Directs had to change their format. So they did have three open queues, back to back to back. And I did say, I do kind of maybe prefer that, because it does kind of give everyone an equal chance. Although emails were sometimes nice. I actually would have loved if they just would have kept a split too. You do in email invites and then maybe have a secondary stock. 10,000 consoles for email invites. 20,000 for public. Do it once every other week or something like that. I would have been so down. Because like, they would have a chance for some people to get lucky and just be you know, actively rewarded for being a PlayStation station member and have some other people just being lucky in general in the general sense but sadly once again we had botters and scalpers ruin once another thing going on uh, once again though it is nice because they did go and finally update the playstation direct text we talked about that yesterday where for a lot of these consoles it does go and show like a limit to one per household although i do think this really should have been put on maybe like 17 months ago when the consoles first came out because there were playstation directs you know in the very first initial launch cycle so it is a little bit on the sadder side mainly because they had to change the system. They had to like change the entire format. And sometimes when they do this, it also takes them an extra few weeks just to go and relaunch it up because they have to make sure the system's working. They have to make sure there's no more glitches. They have to make sure no more emails are being, like, you know, just generally being sent on out or as well so it's not able to be mass produced like they did before. And it does make me sad. Because there's always, like I said, that one workaround. There's always that one person who's be able to go and find and somehow scheme the system. Or as well, you also have those people who try to scam people and say they have PS Direct invites and they don't. One of these days, you know, I, the built-up stress I've gotten from covering all these restocks, man, I cannot wait to go on a vacation, and I just can't wait to go and not even hear the word PlayStation or hear the word Xbox or restock at all. Semiconductors, no thanks. But it is just a sad thing to see. So that might be why in the future we may see a few less limited email invites unless they fix the issue. And I do kind of hope that Sony can and understand this, which is why I'm kind of making this video. Like, I'm not a big content producer. I'm not a big PlayStation producer as is. But maybe someone out there in Sony maybe sees this or maybe on Reddit or something like that. And then they can maybe have a, oh, yeah, maybe we should try our best to make sure that there isn't as much scalping and botting going on. But I do want to say I think them going more open and they completely x out the invites is a good fix. Like, I do think at the end of the day that is a nice change. And that should hopefully get a lot of you guys that still need your consoles to get your consoles. But it is some what sickening just to see these constant kind of just I guess <sighs> lack of better term just glitches like lack of better term just trying to scheme their way any way they can to make this stuff happen it really is kind of a sad situation to go and see but at least on the bright side it was kind of caught I think kind of quick uh, we'll see if more email invites keep on coming out or if we keep on seeing even more third party and botters getting those chances to get extra emails and reselling them ideally not 
and ideally Sony will take care of everyone, but at the end of the day, it is still a scary situation to be in. So if you guys want to, make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, give me your thoughts and comments down below. And as well, if they keep on having big restacks, I don't mind. I really don't mind. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for that Weeble. Sign up for that Coinbase Twitter giveaway down below as well. And I'll just give me your thoughts and comments down below too as well. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching.